Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 40 acre wooded mountaintop home site with electricity, and this property is just about 30 minutes from Trinidad, Colorado. This is an actual view from the property looking north. You can see Greenhorn Mountain in the distance. This is an expansive view of the big sky to the southeast. And then from the property, you also have a view of the Spanish Peaks. And this is Fisher's Peak that you can see from the property as well. So when this is described as mountaintop, it literally is mountaintop. And then you have this road that's used to access the property. It comes in from the west. And you can see there's this open clearing, which would make an awesome building site. And then you have some level areas down here and the property is covered with mature trees this is a neighbor to the west you can see the electricity lines and poles there so the property is only about 6.6 .6 miles from interstate 25 so this is interstate 25 right here so from interstate 25 there's multiple ways you can get to the property but this way right here is you exit at exit 23 which that's also county road 42 and then you're going to come over here on the west side of the highway and then be on County Road 40. So then County Road 40 is going to curve around. It's then going to make this turn to the kind of the northwest and go along these train tracks right here as it then splits off from there and heads directly to the west. And then once you get to this point, what we've done is mapped out the road from County Road 40. So there's this map legend here so you can turn on this layer this red line that's the road to the property and this red line will appear so the distance from this point to the property is about 4.3 miles so there you can see the driving path to the property along the road leads you right up to the property and again this distance is about 4.3 miles you also notice right here there's some BLM land, that road cuts through that corner of the BLM land. Looking at the property on the topographic map, the elevation is around 7,000 feet. And then these are some photos of the road to the property. So there's a merge off of Interstate 25 to County Road 40. This is the intersection of County Road 40 and Tollerberg Road. This is the road where we start drawing the path to the property. So that red line will intersect with County Road 40 right here. And then you head north on Tollerberg Road and that takes you to the property. As you head north up Tollerberg Road, this is an unlocked gate that you'll pass through. Other landowners just ask that you close the gate behind you. There's just a little unlocked chain there to keep it in place. So as you come up this road, then this is about the last intersection where you turn off and then go to the property. And the views along the drive are amazing. This is the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. And there you can see the Spanish Peaks. And there are electricity lines and poles all throughout the area. There they are along the road. And here's another photo showing the neighbor to the west and there are the electricity lines and poles this is an aerial photo of that clearing you'll see that there's some items that were left on the property by a previous owner at one point so there's two buses there is some tires there is an rv and a travel trailer this is the road going into the property there's the rv and then here's another photo of the rv there's the travel trailer there are two school buses on the property this is the other school bus you know, seeing all this stuff on the property, one of the initial thoughts is, boy, that's a lot of stuff to clear off there. Then we started doing some research into ways these items may be repurposed. And what we found was pretty amazing. Someone had taken an old travel trailer, camper, whatever you want to call it, like this, and turned it into a chicken coop. People take these tires and use them to build walls of Earthship homes. And these old school buses are being converted into tiny homes. And some people are clearing out the interiors and building out the insides and then generating rental income on Airbnb and other types of vacation rental sites. These are just a few of the several school bus conversions that are leased on Airbnb. You can see this person uh, is charging $65 a night and they have five-star rating with 133 reviews. And this person is charging you know, $61 a night, also with a five-star rating. There's also nice rock outcroppings and lots of native wildlife in the area. And again, you have those amazing unobstructed 360 degree views. And several of the nearby landowners have developed their properties with homes, cabins, accessory buildings. This is a neighbor just to the west. You know, there's no time limit to build. You can use the property recreationally. The minimum square footage is only 600 square feet. You can do a mobile home, modular home, uh, you can do all types of 
alternative construction, shipping container homes, barn dominiums. You can have a guest house, accessory buildings. And again, the electricity lines and poles are already in place just to the west of the property. And then you're just 30 minutes to Trinidad, which is the county seat of Los Animas County where the property is located. Trinidad has a population around 10,000 people. This is Main Street in Trinidad. Pretty much anything you need, you can find in Trinidad. There's a Walmart super center there. There's hospitals, there's groceries, building supplies, restaurants. Then you're only 36 minutes to the Trinidad Lake State Park in the 800 acre Trinidad Lake, which is great for fishing, boating, water sports. We're only 42 minutes to the town of Walsenburg. Walsenburg has a population around 3,200. There's also a hospital in Walsenburg, along with specialty medical clinics. You have K through 12 public schools in both Trinidad and Walsenburg. And then you're only 51 minutes to the Lathrop State Park. So Lathrop State Park is Colorado's first state park. It's about 1,600 acres. There's two lakes in the Lathrop State Park where you can also go fishing, boating, do other types of water sport activities, hunting. Then you're just a little over an hour to the Spanish Peak State Wildlife Area, which is about 6,400 acres of desirable hunting and recreation land. Just a little over an hour to the popular town of La Vita. And then also about an hour to the Bedito Cone, Greenhorn Mountain, and the San Isabel National Forest. And you're only about an hour and 20 minutes to Pueblo. Pueblo has a population around 100,000. So pretty much anything you need, you can find in Pueblo. You're only about two hours from Colorado Springs, population of around half a million. And then you're just three hours to Denver. So Denver is the largest city in Colorado, international airport. Denver and the surrounding metropolitan areas, population well over a million. All the property details are listed here on our website. There's no HOA. There's no HOA fee. There's no time limit to build. The property taxes are only about $150 a year. There's just some very light covenants, which you can view here in this PDF. And these parcels were all created in the 1980s. And it does mention in there a association fee, but that association fee is not in force, not in place. So there is not an active HOA or assessments or anything like that. Just the property taxes of less than $150 a year. And here we have distances to all the nearby cities and points of interest. There's the GPS coordinates and instructions for visiting the property. Then we have over 100 photos in the interactive map. So if you'd like to purchase this property while it's available, please go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click Checkout. Once you click Checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information and then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. The $499 deposit is credited towards the purchase price and we cover all of the closing costs. The remaining balance can be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, credit card, debit card, or any combination of those methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. And if you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If, if we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message and we'll respond to you at our next availability. You can also fill out this contact form on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And as always, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos, visit our website, and share this information and in our listings with all your family, friends, and colleagues. Thank you and have a blessed day.